matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Special Jojo. Today I'll be showing the welterweight championship between Brucey and Paul Phoenix. I hope you guys will like it. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Introducing the challenger, Bruce the Dragon. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Gaffney, South Carolina, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bullet Crew. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by this gentleman. Connects with a right. How good is that right hand? Oh, high amplitude head kick. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. Great punch. Unable to connect there. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Big head kick. Knee to the body. Lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Three minutes to go. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Able to land the left hand there. And both guys really throwing with authority. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, trying to... Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. That kick lands. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Got the single collar tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Check that kick as well. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, nice. Nice. Leg kick. He's able to slip the left. Just out of range with that strike. He is all about that left kick to the body. Came of inches right there, Damn, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punch over the top. Big head kick land. Just missed with the left there. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. 15 seconds. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Right, right there. 
I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Slips to avoid that left. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. a kick to the body. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Body kick is blocked. Liver kick. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Oh! Massive kick to the head. He got it. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Three minutes to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick land. And they separate. He throws the right hand there. Back to the jab now, no good. That one's not good. Nice strike. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Visibly limping here. Oh, and that kick is blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. Unable to connect with the right. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Goes to the body there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And that's the end of round number two. 
right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Good stick. He blocks the shot. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. How about that shin? Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, big punch land. Clean left punch followed by the right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Big straight left. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Get him with his hip into that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice loop and punch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Nice, nice right hand. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He went high on that one. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight. <laughs> His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making Nick and Cole Logan to fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh. 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 
Don't tease that finish down now. Great punch landing with so much power. Look to the head there by Lee. Take it over the head. Nice kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. A lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. So here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to the extra 10 minutes. just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, man, head keep playing. Lee's inner thigh starting to bruise up pretty good now. In the night, what a punch. Big leg kick land. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Head kick there blocked by Lee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Just misses there with the left. Nice head kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Got clip with the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! He's stuck with the finish now because he's got his opponent with very back. That uppercut in! This is with that huge shot. Finds the target there! Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. Wow! Sure if that's the way he 
threw it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Well, let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking. How good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you all been waiting for live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Gaffney, South Carolina, presenting the challenger, Bullet Crew. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White Champion of the World, Bruce the Dragon.
UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. You gotta move those feet for me, bro. You gotta... Lee's shot is blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand. Flips the left hand. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Nice straight punch. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice slip to avoid the left. Look at him with his hip into that kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Inches right there, Damn, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Beautiful strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. He missed with that jab attempt there. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. 
What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Right on the button. Just a slip there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds to go. Straight right, he misses. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, second round underway. Big punch land. Ooh. Huge block there. Nice leg kick. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committed to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Able to check the high kick. Stay to oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Place kick there by Lee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice punch, Lynn. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Right hand on point. Oh, that's a nice strike. Yeah. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, straight right. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pile. Big kick. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job to block the kick. 
Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, the official decision Ladies is in. Here, here is Bruce Buffett. Buff. Has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout.